We are Steve and Adria, and Alexi is our Doberman pup. In 2019, we started slowly converting our DIY camper van on the weekends at our home base in Las Vegas. But the pandemic quickly changed our plans with Steve getting laid off. The silver lining? More time for the van build, location freedom to start van life even before our van was finished, and teaming up with a metal worker buddy in Oregon to design a roof rack for our ProMaster and start a business crafting adventure van accessories. And that's where our story picks up. Good morning, Lexi. Do you want to go for a run? Good morning. We just finished up with our morning run. So we're heading on uh, a road trip today. We have an eight hour drive ahead of us and we needed a little exercise for ourselves and for the puppy over here. We needed to get tired first before we start our, our before, journey. Before we sit in the car for eight hours straight. So we're Head into a spot that we've checked out before, or tried to check out before, in one of our previous videos. If you were like, you know, a regular of four videos, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. and you saw our first video, then you might know what we missed that we're going to next. So happy when this thing's finished. And half of the stuff lives permanently in the van, and we don't have to pack it in and out every day. Yeah, it's gonna be so much nicer when we have a finished van. <laughs> And there are cupboards, there are things, places to put things, we can leave stuff in the van. We're so freaking excited about that. Yeah, and we're... and then we don't have to do this on trash day when we're like yeah, we're definitely racing extra the garbage was, truck. Yeah, exactly. We want to get he's, out of the street. He's like literally around the corner and we're trying to get backed up <laughs> to leave before. I feel like I'm ducking in and out of frame for short. I know, we have, we have a problem where like he cuts off my head when he films. And then apparently I cut off his head the other direction. You know, we're figuring things out. So we finally finished packing up. We did actually end up having to move the van for the trash van. And we have one last item to pack. Kind of an important one. Let's see if she's ready. Are you ready to load up? You gonna pack the puppy? Are you <laughs> ready for an adventure? Waiting impatiently. <laughs> Love it up. I mean, the uh, Dober van would not be complete without the uh, Doberman in it, would it? <laughs> I don't think so, at least. So, we're gonna hit the road. other people do um, in one fell swoop and then hit the road with the van finished? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> and really... Do we have an answer? Do we have an answer? <laughs> I have an answer, I, I think. Okay, I'm, sorry, I'm not sure why we do it. <laughs> okay, so here's, here's my answer to that. Um, I'm intrigued. Yeah, <laughs> Steve wants to know. We, like a lot of these adventures and things we've been doing, um, like the one we're, we're heading to right now, are not necessarily our initiative. Like we're going and seeing, you know, spending some time with family. We're heading up right now to see um, a couple of our best friends who we haven't seen any friends since the pandemic started. And so, like some of these things, it's just like, there are opportunities for us to get out in the van and it's not done and so we're not waiting. Also, point two, and Steve, I think you'll agree with this one, is that what we've realized is that we are a different kind of van builder and van lifer than other people, that we're really like thorough and slow and like think through things before we do them. And so the van has just been taking longer, right? A lot longer. A lot longer. <laughs> so we just made it to Tonopah and we're really excited to recheck out the 
Tonopah Brewing Company. Yep, we're back at the Tonopah Brewery. What do you think? First taste. It's a half. I mean... She doesn't like hefts much, but I do. <laughs> so, that's why I was... They only had three beers on tap. And that was the option I picked. It okay. was... But, it, but I'm... I'm feeling nice to be drinking craft beer yeah. on a patio. It's beautiful here. Breeze. Obviously, where we're home based uh, in Vegas, it's like a hundred and some degrees this week, and we are sitting on the patio, what, three and a half hours away in Tonopah, yeah. and it's like 80 degrees. It's, it feels lovely. So, we got a burnt in sandwich and french fries, not something we typically eat a lot. Uh, we normally try to eat a lot healthier, but uh, yeah. when there's not a lot of options, this works. And honestly, I'm kind of excited to try it. What you doing in there? You got some pepper in your teeth? <laughs> you trying to clean that out? <laughs> it's a van mirror. It's, a, it's our van mirror. <laughs> there's something you don't see every day. Clown Motel. I can guarantee you we are not going to be staying there tonight. Another thing that happened when we were in Tonopah is that this guy, who was actually pretty nice, right? He he asked us if we were searching for ghosts. Because <laughs> we had EV equipment, which is apparently just our microphone on top. But uh, Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, well it's not surprising either. It's like uh, all these little old mining towns like Tonopah or Goldfield or Beatty, all those type of towns we're driving through have a lot of like ghost history and like people people coming to check it out and try to find I don't know, all the old historic buildings that may have some some spirits left behind. Last time we had a really hard time getting there with the van and it was dry, so I hope that we're not going to have to change our location. So it's looking fairly dry. I think we're in the clear. As long as it doesn't rain heavy overnight, I think we should be fine. I'm excited. So where did the wise if you put toilet paper? <laughs> Up here, the, this, be prepared for this. This is what's gonna happen. <laughs> Roll all the way back. We're getting close, guys. I'm getting really excited. Our spot, our secret spot. Super beautiful. We're gonna do a little walk for some <laughs> exercise for us and the puppy child. And then what? You make some food? You said you uh, still aren't hungry yet. I'm still full from lunch to be honest. So <laughs> apparently the barbecue is too much for her. <laughs> well it's you know, it's good. It's like keeping me full. Anybody else smell pine trees or is it just us? <laughs> Butterscotch for sure. It smells so good. What anyway. you doing there? Uh, the most challenging part of van life is trying to make toast without a toaster, right? <laughs> so we, we got some bread toasting in a pan action while drinking, drinking a, a modern times beer. <sighs> 
So, we've had a long day of driving, and we're ready for bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. we're going to leave you there, and we'll catch you in the morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? <laughs> ah, I, I can't wait until we install our heater so it can just be like an even temperature, or at least I hope it can be, I don't know, uh, so throughout the night. <laughs> we didn't sleep super awesome despite having a very comfortable bed inside the van. It's not that we can complain much. I don't know, like it feels like we shouldn't really be allowed to be cranky or wake yeah, up on go. the wrong we, side we, of the bed. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> can't here. be cranky when we when there's views <laughs> like this. Like it's just oh my god. This area is so beautiful. As we keep climbing up, the views just keep getting better and better. The native Steve in the wild finding a spot of reception. It's for good measure. I'm to trying to post, post some pretty photos. <laughs> to post the photos I'm, on our I'm Instagram. I'm not checking <laughs> Facebook or something. I'm doing yeah. something useful like posting photos. Isn't that, isn't that well, great? We're making it kind of to the top on our morning walk and this is the first place we've found a bit of reception. <laughs> Honestly, so. it's the only reception I've seen in the entire area. Like, we stayed here last time. We had to drive probably... I don't know, 45 minutes before we had service again, so this is some sort of little magical spot up on this hill. So the good news is that we've been walking uphill, and we did an uphill walk yesterday on our road. Like, we own this place, I don't know. <laughs> we don't own this place, but we own it while we're here. And going uphill last time, I was really winded, and just like, like, just like, <sighs> You know, it's a little higher of elevation too. But this time, after the last three weeks of almost daily runs, feeling pretty good. Cardio works. Daily runs? Almost that sounds, that daily. That's terrible. <laughs> Come on. Come on, oh, guys. Really I'm not sure what else I could say. You guys know what I mean. Like, jogging, wearing running shoes, cardio. Let's just leave it at that. So we found our spot. This, this spot is what we want to work up to. Yeah? It's what amazing. do you think, Liv? Did, they, did you show them that view? I did. This is way higher up than where we were at. And I don't even know if I'm getting myself. <laughs> My arm is too short. Um, this is way higher up than where we were at. And we have reception here, so maybe we could work here even. <gasps> yeah, this place is a goal, I think, to get to. We need to get some uh, different tires mm -hmm. and maybe some like max tracks or some recovery track type things just to make sure we could get up here safely. Yeah. But yeah, this is, oh my God, this is so beautiful, that view. We'll be back. Lexi's even enjoying it. See? Yeah, she's like, she's like wow, <laughs> what a view, mom and dad. So beautiful. I think Lexi has claimed this uh, spot. Is this in the name of Lexi? <laughs> She's like literally it was just like looking at the view here. Yeah. And we used the reception while we were up here to reach out to our good friends that we're going to be meeting later today at our destination. So we haven't really told you where we're going yet. Stay tuned for that. Oh, crazy puppy. She's having a blast. There's a little like ground squirrels or something up here. And she is running around like crazy trying to find them. <laughs> You're ultra concentrating there though. <sighs> yes. We got some breakfast action going here. Yeah, it's a little more more messy when and not as beautiful when I'm using a bamboo fork. <laughs> hey, dirty dog. You bringing all that dirt into here? Looks like you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, it's kind of the most beautiful view. 
There's something about the van where my favorite part is lying in bed and looking out the back door. <laughs> like I can see the clouds rolling by. And the... well, that is quite <sighs> a lovely view outside yeah. right now. So we drove past this place on the way into our spot last night and the road ran right next to this really beautiful little river that rolls through here and we couldn't resist the urge before we left. Check it out. You got a hot puppy. Are you hot? Oh my, oh my goodness. Found the one from the it's hot. Mid 80 degrees and you're overheating. Let's get you back to the Dober van. So we were going to uh, have our lunch here, but people who've come before us have kind of used a little bit as a toilet site and left their toilet paper, which is kind of uncool and frankly kind of disrespectful to nature. <laughs> so we're gonna head on and find a better spot. On the road heading into Reno, uh, we've got an appointment with the Apple Genius Bar because the Apple store in Las Vegas is closed right now from the pandemic and my iPhone hasn't been working for the last few weeks so I'm hoping that, that they can fix whatever it is without having to be without my phone for a while. So my phone is kind of a part of my business. So Adria's in the Apple store right now getting her phone looked at and it was getting a little warm in the van. So I decided to bring the uh, lawn chair out with the pup down here because it's a lot cooler in this little tiny shade tree that I have. <laughs> I guess that's the, uh, the only setup you can do when you don't have uh, electricity running in the van yet to have the fans going. It's keeping us cool. So, I'm gonna buy you a beer and a coffee <laughs> for how long that took. But I have a loaner phone. Take this off. Ooh. I have a loaner phone. Two hours later. Two and a half hours later. Two and a half hours. Steve was having to wait outside for me while I was in the Apple store getting my issue. But it works. And that's all that matters. We're almost there. Have you figured out where we're heading yet? Welcome to Lake Tahoe. Round two. Puppy dentures! Puppy dentures! Oh my god. Puppy dentures! Oh. <laughs> what a sweetie! What you doing? This is the funkiest <laughs> face. Oh, there we go. Oh no, it's back! It's back! It's back! You can still see your teeth! 